Brandon Cohen, uh, founder of Liquid IV. Um, founded it when I was 24 years old. Just recently got acquired by uh, Unilever uh, in like a blockbuster deal, which was really cool. Um, I stepped aside from being CEO, um, and now I'm on to other ventures to help change the world. My whole life, um, I wanted to be a professional athlete. I ended up getting a scholarship to play golf in college. And my senior year, I had a couple injuries and I ended up not being able to make it. And I went to go get a job in sports uh, for the Arizona Diamondbacks, the pro baseball team. And when I got there, I became friends with a lot of the guys on the team. And they were all drinking Pedialyte to hydrate. And so I just thought, what if you could make a healthier version of this science, sodium, glucose, and potassium, and get it out to athletes and um, people with active lifestyles like us. Um, I told my parents I was studying to get my MBA because I knew that they probably wouldn't accept that I was like starting this crazy kind of business on the side. And in about three months, we became the top selling item in that Whole Foods, um, in the whole body department. So we got one more Whole Foods. And before we knew it, we had 10 stores in Southern California. You fast forward five years, we're in 35,000 stores across the country, um, you know, doing hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. And it's sort of been a, sort of like a wild dream come true entrepreneur story. CTW, it's kind of like, it's kind of a way of life. The three words itself are very, you make fun of me sometimes, right? It's like, it's like very broad. It means something very like specific to me, which is like, I want to leave a lasting positive impact on the earth that lasts for generations to come. I want to do things while I'm on this planet that leave this positive lasting impact. As I'm making decisions about what I want to do every day or what I want to be involved in, I want to be involved in things like cuts that are, that are truly making an impact on people's lives every day. So many entrepreneurs come to me all the time who are like, there's for one reason or another, like they have an idea, but they're not starting, whether it's like a financial issue or it's family or it's their job, or there's a million reasons why not to start. Just get started. Big inspiration to me has been Kobe Bryant and the mama mentality. It was almost like a religious thing for me. Like I studied the way he did everything. Especially when we, like in 2020, when things got really challenging, you know, I went into this character where it was like, no matter what comes at me, like every day it was something different. Like I thought this was gonna be my biggest problem and all of a sudden something came over here and I was like, okay, let's turn our focus here. I was gonna be like unf unflappable. Like you weren't gonna be able to get under my skin and no one was gonna be able to fuck with me. And that was like, it, it was the mama mentality. It was just like, I, I had like this inner mama in me where like I was just, nothing was gonna stop us. Yeah, you know, when I was running the business, it was just so singularly focused on growing the business. There was no time for like upgrading my, my lifestyle. And, and frankly, I mean, I, I didn't really have the means to do it anyway, but I loved it. I basically grew this, you know, half a billion dollar business, like from my 800 square foot apartment, no issues. And then once we, once we got acquired, you know, it, it's been a pretty, you know, frankly, it's been a weird transition. When I first got going, I had like a family and friends round. You know, when, when the actual acquisition happened, I don't think people realized like the magnitude of it. So I was on like FaceTimes or Zooms with people and I'd be like, hey, so you know, when you wrote that $5,000 check it now turned into like seven figure fill in the blank. You know, I had one of my best friends who I lived with right when I was starting Liquid IV from like 24 to 26. He put in money when he like had no money to put in. And when I called him, he just broke down and started crying hysterically. Like a 30 year old dude, like a masculine guy, like just lost it and like, it's, I mean, I got emotional and it happened probably, I mean, it happened multiple times, you know? The idea for the company started with this science that was developed by the World Health Organization. And so from the very early days, we were like, how can we give back to those who are less fortunate? So we've been able to travel to places like uh, Nepal, um, Uganda, Haiti, and we've donated over 10 million servings to people in need around the world. It, it, it really rounded out our business and made it like so, like every day we knew what we were working for, to help people every day here in the United States, but also as the business grows, we're able to help people who are less fortunate than us.